Teachers of Reddit, what is your best read the note to the class story? Not a teacher. Someone in my class had a cold and wiped their snot into a scrap piece of paper. As they didn't have a tissue, they then scrunched it up and left it on the side of their desk. Teacher saw this, thought it was a note and grabbed the paper, going through the usual fanfare of the importance not passing notes around. The look on her face when she opened it was priceless. That's what she gets for nosing around. I don't know if this is the best but it's pretty profound. I usually ignored note passing. If a student didn't want to pay attention but wasn't bothering anyone else I was cool. In the age of cell phones notes were kind of outdated anyway. So I had this student who could do origami like a boss and he was always making all kinds of animal figures and cool shapes that I would put on the cork board behind my desk. This one day he is getting his fold on and is completely focused and not paying attention. Before I know it, class is over and it's on my desk. He stops on the way out of my class and says, you're gonna wanna read that. I read it and he asking for lunch money cause his mom took off and he was hungry. It hurts being a teacher some days. I was in 8th grade and it was a hot, sunny day in mid-May. I wrote it snowing on a piece of paper and showed it to my friend sitting next to me, who immediately looked out the window. We both laughed because obviously it wasn't snowing. Then he and I laughed when I showed it to another student and they immediately looked out the window. And so on until most of the class is in on the joke, and watching as I show the piece of paper to the next unwitting fool. Almost every student knows what's going on, when my teacher sees that I'm showing this piece of paper to everyone and making them laugh. She walks over to my desk, looks down at the piece of paper that says it's snowing and instinctively looks out the window. The entire class bursts out in laughter. I don't know why but this is one of the funniest things I've seen on reddit. Not a teacher, but once I wrote a love letter to a guy when I was 9 years old. When I got caught, a guy took the blame and read it to the whole class. He never said who wrote it. Thank you Devin. Devin is the man we all aspire to be. Not really a note, but when I was teaching college classes, I caught two of the girls whispering, so I told them if you're going to tell secrets, you need to share with the rest of the class. I taught preschool before this. She looked right at me, and said, without the slightest embarrassment, I was just telling her that I think you have a cute butt. I was teaching a communications class, and we were discussing communications in the workplace, and I looked down at the textbook. After seeing what the next section was, I said okay, moving on to the next section, titled sexual harassment, everyone roared with laughter. A couple weeks later, at a baseball game paid for by the school, she came on to me really hard, with my fiancé right there. Obviously the next section didn't take. Good example to bring up if you do teach classes still. I am not a teacher, but I have a story which was kind of the opposite. When I was in college I was in a large math lecture hall two times a week, and me and my friends took to making paper planes and throwing them down from the back of the theater. We did it often and I am sure we thought we were hilarious. Somehow nobody said a word except for the occasional snicker and it went on like that, on and off for the semester. Then, on the last day I remember writing Happy Christmas Dr. Jones on a plane and throwing it down. Seeing it land in front of the lecturer, he blew a fuse, and started shouting about how this had been going on all semester and he thought it was a disgrace. Then he picked up the plane and read the message. Got very embarrassed and meekly said thank you. I still cringe to think of my childish actions, but it did give me that moment of connection with the lecturer, before failing his class. Maybe you failed because you spent too much time on planes. Hey at least you had good timing on the happy Christmas when he blew up. Another non-teacher here, but my 7th grade teacher typically always wore a dress shirt to class and looked very presentable but this day he had his sleeves rolled up. Now, everyone loved this teacher but my immediate though was to write a note to my friend sitting beside me that his arms were super hairy, and that note was passed back and forth with us cracking jokes about it. Nothing malicious or overly mean, just that we didn't think he'd have such hairy arms. We eventually got caught, and between classes he took us aside and warned us to not pass notes, and since this was the first time this happened he would toss it out without reading it and let us go. Well... A couple months go by and he decides to wear short sleeves again. 
and his arms were noticeably less hairy. I know 12 year olds don't have the greatest moral compass but to this day I still feel so bad that my dumbass little note might have made him so self conscious about something so unimportant. I'm sorry mister. Fifield, wherever you are now. This made my heart melt. We can be cruel, especially at a young age. I taught for a decade in a really rough area. I intercepted a lot of notes and was pretty shameless in public humiliation of my kids. I read a lot of the bad stuff out loud. However, one really nice moment that stands out was when the super popular bubble Latina girl sat next to the stereotype depressed weird white theater band girl. I see them passing notes which is really uncharacteristic. The band girl seemed off and upset, but I let it go because it seemed like there was something going on more, and the Latina girl was a really nice kid. I didn't think she was bullying or anything. I had the girl stay after for a second, and asked them what was up. The Latina girl said, I was worried about her, she looked sadder than usual, so I wanted to make sure she's cool. I asked the other girl if that's what was happening and she said yep, and showed me the notes which was a really heartfelt convo about boys, relationships and feeling lonely. It was so damned sweet. I asked if they needed more time, and they both said yes. I could get them excused from their next class and they asked if they could chill and talk more. I said sure, because you bet your butt wellness and mental health is a frick ton more important than curriculum. They really had a moment, and it seemed to help them both. This was as 10th graders. I got to see them really develop a nice friendship over the next few years. Go girls, wherever you are now. I hope you're still friends and I'm glad I could help facilitate that. You sound like a great teacher. Valuing mental health over curriculum feels so rare these days. In health class, we were talking about boners and how they fill up with blood. My cousin took a piece of paper and wrote your dong is filled with blood and threw it at some popular kid. The teacher picked it up and you can see him die inside because of the immaturity of 8th graders and how he has to teach them for a career. Blood is stored in the dong. 8th graders, talking about reproduction in class. Semen comes up, the note passed said, isn't the proper science term CM wonderful. Was a student, not the teacher, in 3rd grade, 1996. My class was performing a play. I had a total of two lines of dialogue but I really wanted to get it right so I copied my lines from the textbook, folded it up, and stuck it in my pocket. The teacher only saw the last bit if this but assumed I was sticking a note in my pocket and told me to get up by front of the class and read it out loud. I recited my lines verbatim and handed the note to the teacher. Without reading it she assumed I was being a smartest and sent me to the principal's office where I received recess detention and a call to my parents. Not sure why I never asked anyone to read the note, but I didn't. The next day when I arrived at school my teacher pulled me aside and told me that she had read the note, realized what it was and apologized profusely. She took me down to the office to call my parents and let me go out for two periods of recess. Props misses. W for the life lesson about humility and doing the right thing. I still remember. One day in middle school right around when the Nintendo Wii came out, you could add other friends online for certain compatible online Wii games by sharing a serial code of like 16 numbers or something around there. Sitting in the back of our 7th period science class, three of my friends and I started to exchange and write down our Wii serial codes on a small piece of paper. We'd pass it down and share it as we passed it and copy them in our notebooks. Our teacher pauses his lecture as he looks at us. He just gets up from the front of the class, walk to our row where the four of us sat, put his hand out to my buddy for the paper with all of our serial codes on him, takes a moment to glance at it only to see a matrix of random numbers followed by the first letter of our names. He then glances up at us and then to my buddy with the most dumbfounded stare, squints, and asked is this some kind of joke? Cause I'm clueless on this one. My buddy that had to explain ourselves saved us all the embarrassment and said I'll explain after class as he blushed. Luckily our teacher was a really cool dude and was fine with that answer and told us to just put it away. We told him after class and he understood but also said he was expecting some sort of elaborate code that we were encrypting messages in. A positive spin. I was long term subbing a class. One day I noticed students discreetly passing around a piece of paper while I was teaching. I went to retrieve it, and discovered it was a petition signed by each student requesting I remain their teacher for the rest of the year. 
How wholesome. Not a teacher but there was one teacher who was really cool, but still took his teacher job seriously. One lesson there is a note being passed around. Because of the giggling he sharpened his senses and honed in on the note's location and intercepted the handoff. Did that getting ready for a speech cough. Opened the note and laughed. The note said, giggle and pass it on. There was another time he intercepted a note that said, happy birthday mister. One that I intercepted was Ms. K princess is the best sub ever yet. That was right after I caught a couple others. And said that the next one I caught would get read out loud. Not me, but a friend of mine who taught 7th grade. He found a note and was about to read it to the class but when he opened it, the note read, I want you to crack an egg in my butt and frick me so hard it scrambles. He immediately put it in his locked desk drawer without reading it out loud, and it's now laminated and hung up on his fridge at home. In 8th grade the teacher took the note and made me read it. I didn't even think to make something up, so I blurted out what was on it. We beat the meats. The story of three male prostitutes who made it the hard way parody of we beat the streets. Thought I was so clever. Not a teacher, but when I was in high school, I started a note from the back row of the class, which was passed and read by nearly everyone in the class. The teacher grabbed it as it went past him, when there was only three people left who hasn't read it. I think he was going to read it out to the class, but he looked at it before he read it. All the note said was that the zip on his pants was down. With all respect to him, he calmly zipped up and continued teaching. Basically the same thing happened in my art class. The teacher left the room and I announced it to the whole class and when he came back we all died laughing and to this day he still doesn't know why. One time a student had passed a note and I asked it to be read out. Read. Bish to take KKN. Bastards had been playing a game of freaking correspondence chess during my lesson. I let them carry on. I'll allow it, but I play the winner. In high school a girl in class passed a note to another girl, asking if she had a pad or tampon. Teacher completely blew up, started yelling at them, and asked them to read it out loud. They did, and the teacher, who was an older man, immediately calmed down and let it go. I think he was more embarrassed than the girls. My then fiancé was a high school math teacher. One day she thought she saw a note being passed. But she wasn't sure, so she waited. Then she thought she saw it again. Finally she saw it, walked over, and took it. It was a wedding card, signed by half of the class before she took it. She cried. <laughs> Student, not the teacher. In my college thermodynamics class the professor said that he didn't care if we got a text message in class. However he did care if we had our ringers on. So his rule was that if you got a text message and your phone went off loud enough for the whole room to hear it, you had two options. You could either read the text out loud to the whole class, or you could bring in donuts for everyone at the next class. There were about 20 of us. Of course everyone keeps their phones on silent, so it never happens. Until smack dab in the middle of one of the exams, when the professor's phone gets a text message and rings out loud and clear in the middle of the exam. Professor freezes. Takes one look at his phone as we all start giggling, and says guess I'm bringing you guys all donuts on Wednesday. They were delicious. I was really good about silencing my phone in college, but it happened once. One of my roommates was a fan of wrestling and my ringtone for him was that obnoxious and his name is John Cena do 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 clip. It went off during an exam in Chem 2, the only class in which I was considered the overachiever. Embarrassing, but funny even at the time. When I was in HS we had a kid pass a note to another kid all subtle like. They both sat behind me in the same row. The kid did not even read it. He put it in his pocket but the teacher saw. She made him stand up and told him to pull out the note. He refused. She told him to pull out the note again and he refused. She legit reached into his pocket and said something like. Let's see what you are hiding from class. She saw the contents and went white. She grabbed both boys and led them to the office immediately. The note, which I later found out, said something along the lines of package left in second trash can of the third empty room or something like that with gun. You won't need it. Don't frick this up. The police found a small amount of H and a 22 pistol with no ammo in the said trash can underneath some balled up papers. This turned into a mess where the kids both claimed neither one wrote the note and were not the intended recipient. So the school said they would expel everyone from that line of desks which our parents pretty much stopped. 
The police tried searching all of our homes but my parents refused to allow anyone into our home. I was in band at the time and had to take a drug test every 6 weeks. My parents believed me so they refused to allow the police to search the home. The event never got punished because they could never prove anything other than the teacher saw two kids pass a note. About 4 years after graduation I saw on MySpace, yup that long ago, that one of them died to an OD and the other was arrested for his murder. They never got him for the murder of supplying drugs to a drugi, but did get him on a drug charge. Well this was a wild post. You all know those sub teachers who pass around the attendance form instead of doing it themselves? I had one that did that, then saw the girl behind me pass it to me and assumed it was a note. Read it out to the class. Aaron Advark, Betty Boop, ETC, obviously fake names. Didn't believe me at first, came and took it saying I'll read it out then. Back in my substitute teaching days, just out of college, I was subbing for junior high science teacher. I thought the day had been going relatively smoothly, but during a break, I noticed a note on the floor. I picked it up and read it, and it said, Mr. Palquito is a butthole. Keep quiet. Keep your head down. Stay calm. To this day, I appreciate the implication that, to that set of kids, I was like the junior high version of the warden from Shawshank Redemption. Not a teacher, but something one of my teachers told me outside of school. The students were learning about properties of rocks and minerals. The first student wrote what's cleavage on a note, referencing the mineral property. The second student responded with a human anatomy description. 7th grade biology. My teacher was going over genetics and the girl I was sitting by was not the brightest bulb, nor was she paying attention. My teacher asks her where she gets her genes from, and the girl replies, JC Penny. <laughs> Student not a teacher. In maybe the 4th or 5th grade a kid is trying to pass me a note and is caught by the teacher. I wasn't paying attention to where it came from. I only noticed when it was about to be handed to me. She makes him read the note in front of the class. He reads the note and it says you wanna be my boyfriend? I like the way your booty moves when you walk. I overreact and say I'm not gay and the boy says I didn't write that it came from Tasha. Everyone laughs and she and I are both extremely embarrassed. After class I go to talk to her at the locker and she says yeah I wrote it but I don't like you like that anymore. Legend is it I'm still single to this day. As long as your booty still moves in the same way when you walk, there's still a chance. You have been visited by the wealth rat subscribe in 12 seconds and he will share his wealth with you. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.